Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I did this face look using three months of the BoxyCharm subscription to see kind of what could I pull off using three months worth of the subscriptions. So this is what I came up with. I'm going to go ahead and put the picture of all three BoxyCharm subscriptions side by side right here. And that'll give you kind of an idea of what I had to play with. So I didn't play with everything in all of the boxes. I kind of just picked and chose throughout the three boxes to see what I wanted to come up with to create today's look. And was really excited. So I want to go over some of my kind of more favorites and then some of the things that I have maybe saved for later on. So the first box we're going to get into, and I have a feeling I've got things spread all out, so bear with me, is September's box. And as you can see, I've been in it, so it's like a hot mess. But let's talk about the items in this box. In this box, we have the wild flowers. And it starts out with the pretty vulgar Nightingale Smoky Eyeshadow Palette for $35. I had been sent this palette already. This is actually the one my sister-in-law sent me because I gave away mine to one of my subscribers for fun. But I really, I have used this palette before. I can put the link below to the other video that I used or I did using this palette so it was kind of fun so since I used this palette before really didn't want to get into it with this eye look with the exception of I did use this color swoop on the lower lash line and my outer V then we'll talk about the Laura Geller so I was not excited about the Laura Geller tropical hues I I would have passed by this in the store because I you know the colors are a little bit bright and I don't for my cheeks I don't know like I like bright colors but then when I go to buy them I typically stay away from them myself so this is why BoxyCharm is fantastic is because it gives you things to play with that you may not have picked yourself and that is the blush that I have on today I love this blush so while I would have gone past this blush while shopping I really like this blush and will continue to use it. In fact, it'll go in my normal uh, mainstay area to pick up again because I really like how well that blush came out. Then we've been given a brush set, which has three of them. Ojito's brush set. This normally retails for $8. I used all three of these. So I love this flat brush for under eye as far as using eyeshadow to create a eyeliner. This made a great blending brush because I had to blend a few times to kind of calm down what I had done. And then this is great for cutting out a crease and then adding the eyeshadow. So really liked that. Next was the Hank and Henry Liquid Lipstick. I did not use that today. Um, I figured I had enough color on my eyelids to basically get away with not wearing a um, a liquid lipstick of this color so ooh, it smells just like vanilla icing which is amazing so I'm hoping to use that in an upcoming look but this smells amazing and I really like how even though it's a liquid lip it looks like a kind of old-timey lipstick last oh and that goes for $17 Lastly is the Butter London Stroke of Wow Roll-On Precision Eyeliner. I did use that today. It was kind of strange, kind of strange. Like you could hear the pizza wheel going across your eye. Kind of strange. Um, for me, because I guess I have wrinkles, I just couldn't, I don't know, it just felt weird using that roller. But I will tell you when you're going to carve out a cat eye, this is what you want to use. I mean, when they talk about precision, it's precision and you, you just get a fine tip line. So while I don't know that I necessarily use it again for all over my eye, I definitely will use it for that cat eye look because it, it's killer on the cat eye piece. This actually goes for $19. Now let's go into Tober's box. Obviously, I did not get into the Lace and Peel Peel Off Mask because I was adding makeup. That will probably be used this evening. This retails for $30, which is basically one and a half of the boxes. 
from BoxyCharm as far as price point goes. The It Cosmetics was $24 and I have used this mascara before and really, really loved it. So to be able to have a full size of the Superhero from It Cosmetics, which retails for $24, is fantastic for me because I do love this one a whole, whole lot. Next was the Pure Complexion Authority Midnight Masquerade Palette. I didn't use anything from this palette for today's look. Um, it has a lot of dark colors. I think I'd really have to sit down and concentrate on how to put together a look using this. And I'd have to definitely pull in other palettes to kind of either soften it or maybe grab a black or dark brown to darken it up. So it's kind of in that midpoint for me. And yeah, I just kind of had um, a block, a creative block when using this one. So I did not use this one today. That normally retails for $38. What I did use today, however, was the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Lippy, which I have on right now. I love Kat Von D, so to see some of her products in BoxyCharm just made my day. And that normally retails for $20. Lastly is the Bri Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strength Moisture and Leave-In Mask. I actually have this in my hair now. I have a larger bottle that I had gotten from another subscription and I like to use it in my hair. It actually is great for me um, if I have time to air dry my hair as I'm, you know, walking around, getting around, whatever. It really does a great job with air drying. So I do enjoy using the Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. Again, I do have it in my hair now. So, um... I, I do use that on a regular basis, so ha to have it at this size for traveling makes it absolutely perfect. Then we're going to go into last month's box, which is fantastic. So last month's box, let me find the little card here, was Gold Digger. And I love the fact that they just come up with some of the cutest names for all of their boxes. And in Gold Digger, we got some great gold issue products which I think is going to be fantastic going into the holiday season. So we got some glitter drops from Cover Effects. I have um, two other kinds of the Color Effects drops and I really like them. I think they go on very nice and you can see that it gives just a very pretty gold shimmer. I actually have a little bit on my nose and a little bit on the Cupid's bow. These go on super, super nice and just add a really pretty shine. So I think, again, for the holiday season, that is perfect, perfect timing. Next, we're going to go into the... Oh, and let me back up. This retails for $44. Ace Beauty, the Grandoy, Grandois palette uh, retails for $24.99. So I was excited to use it because of this like pinkish red color, which I have kind of highlighted on my eyes today. Um, it really stayed pigmented, so I did kind of have to blend it down a bit. So I will say all over that the colors that I used are pigmented, not a lot of fallout, which is fantastic. Um, this jasmine color is absolutely stunning. I have that more on the inner corner of the eye. This one called Periwinkle. No, I'm sorry, Primrose. Um, it went on with a brush, but it was kind of lackluster. So once I used my finger to put it on, that's where I got some pop. Really like that. And then this cinnamon color um, went on pretty pigmented also. I did not use the Clove, Rose, or Myrtle but I think I'm going to try that later this week just to see how those go. But I did like this palette. I think it's fun. It's pretty. Um, I think it would go, even though it's kind of muted tones, I think it would go into spring very well. So it could transition very well in a spring. But that was fun to be able to use a new product from Ace Beauty. I don't believe up to this point that I had ever used anything from them before. And again, that retails for $24.99. I love this next bit. So this says add a little sparkle to your brush collection. These retail for $21 from Luxie. And the gold shimmer on these brushes are adorable. So I used three out of the four brushes to do some fine detail on my eyes today. 
and love, love, love these little guys. Just, I mean, absolutely a, a must-have if you're trying to do a little bit more of perfection work or clean up in a smaller area. I'd highly recommend these brushes that go for $21. Where have they been my whole life? I have missed these my whole life. So I'm so excited to be able to have these little finishing brushes, but also because of how gorgeous they are on the handle. When I first saw them, I was like, oh, those are teeny tiny. What am I going to do with those? Until I started playing with them, and then I was like, every, every person doing makeup should have these little tiny guys because they just add, I mean, it's just is so much easier to use for detail work. And the next piece is Jantan Blue's Glittering Star Eyeliner. So it's got the glitter on the outside of the packaging, which is beautiful. I am glad that I took this and I swiped it across my hand to start with because it had a really sharp tip and the tip popped off. I used this in my waterline. It went on super easy. I love that it has the glitter on the inside. Very, very pretty. But as I mentioned, I'm glad that I moved it along my hand in the beginning because the tip popped off and out right in my eyeball. Mm-hmm. I just, yeah, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. This retails for $5, which I thought was a really great price considering how easy it went on and the fact that it has some gold flecks and sparkles in it to kind of set it apart from other eyeliners. I just thought it was really, really pretty. So thanks for the ingenuity there. Lastly is uh, the Lashaholic Lashes from Instaglam. These are false eyelashes and I have them on today. And oh my God, I love these eyelashes and here's why. So they've got kind of, you know, some really wispy long pieces and then they've got a little bit shorter pieces which are still way longer than my own eyelashes. And so I really like how they kind of spread out and they pop on super easy. I think most women could get away with not cutting them. My eyes, typically, I don't have to cut these. And so when I first opened them up, I was like, oh, those might be too small for my eyes. But they actually went on really, really easy. So they just pop on so, so easy. And these normally retail for $14.99. They're 100% vegan. And they use premium silk fiber, fibers that give your lashes dimension. And I will say it gives your lashes dimension. I just love these things. So I can see myself using these over and over again. I'm hoping, it doesn't say how many times you can reuse them, but I'm hoping that I can reuse these a whole, whole lot. So anyways, that's kind of my thoughts on the last three months of BoxyCharm using them side by side. You can see that... A, you get good products um, every month, no matter what, for $19.99. Um, you always get more in one box than you spend for $19.99. Most of the time, one product covers the whole box. In this case, um, some of the products covered the price of two boxes. So as far as price conscious goes, absolutely amazing. Then I wanted you to see that from month to month, how you can collaborate and use the different months going into another. So as you're building your beauty room, your um, beauty space, makeup, etc., this is a great subscription at a very low price to build up your, your products. And... Um, you can see how well that they do throughout each month that they don't necessarily double up. And what I, what I mean by that is if you saw my video on Morphe, so there were some Morphe brushes that went back to back that they were the same brushes that went out from one month to another. Um, these brushes that were separated by basically a month in between and the brushes didn't match. So that was fantastic. So what I like about BoxyCharm, or I'm trying to say in a nutshell, is that BoxyCharm really does a great job of keeping every month very different, but you can collaborate and use all the months together to continue to build your beauty repertoire and really be able to customize different looks and again for as many products as you get for price it is an amazing amazing box 
um, subscription. So anyways, I hope that having three months side by side really gave you an opportunity to look at BoxyCharm and say, okay, I really do get different products. I get great products. Um, price point wise for what I'm spending and this is absolutely the subscription I have so anyways oh and by the way BoxyCharm has never con um, contacted me to do a video or given me anything for free so this is 100% my thoughts so anyways in fact I don't even know that BoxyCharm knows I even exist even though I've been one of their uh, subscribers for quite a long time but that's okay that's okay. I still love them, even though they don't know who I am. All right, y'all. Well, I hope this helps you with your buying power. And if you have any thoughts, questions, etc., please put those below. I'd be happy to answer any of them. I look forward to talking to you in my next video. See you soon.